topic is architectural mapping it is a structure design provides a convenient transaction flow a data flow diagram to software architecture there are two types of information flow one is transaction flow second one is transform flow uh, transaction flow a single data item triggers information flow along one of many path in the transform flow overall data flow is sequential and flow along a small number of straight line paths in this we have three types of flows incoming flow transform flow outgoing flow um incoming flow the path that transform the external data into an internal form next is transform center the incoming data are passed through a transform center and begin to move along path that lead to out of the software next is outgoing flow the path that move the data out of the software diagram has been shown for information flow transform flow one single data moment has been shown transaction flow overall data moment has been shown this transform mapping is uh, it is a mapping the dfd with transform flow into architectural design it refer as transform mapping and here in, see the diagram in the data flow diagram is transform to um, top down approach that is here um, architectural design steps involved in architectural mapping is step 1 review the fundamental system model draw the dft diagram for fundamental uh, um, system model here i'm taking the alarm system so in this um, this is a diagram for it and we have a control panel and sensor uh, using the control panel will give the commands and data to the alarm system using the sensor it will uh, check the status of the sensor likewise um, in the right side we have a control panel display alarm telephone line always the alarm system is connected with the telephone line and then uh, whatever the alarm information is displayed on the control panel display and then uh, we are choosing different types of alarms in it so this is a diagram for um, data flow diagram the arrow shows the flow step is review and refine data flow diagram for the software initially we will draw the basic dfd diagram and level by level we will implement the diagram so we will give more processing work in it in the step 3 we need to define uh, transform flow and transaction flow characteristics so here in general we have a transform flow so in some special cases we have transaction flow here see the picture this is the overall structure diagram of alarm system see the step 4 isolate the transform center by specifying incoming and outgoing flow boundaries we are uh, uh, splitting the outgoing boundary and uh, incoming boundary in the diagram the a different shade designer may select slightly differently transform center can contain more than one bubble see this example why is very important this this step is used to convert your data flow diagram to architectural design so in this each and every flow is converted to architectural design so uh, in this program structure represents a top down distributed control factoring results in the program structure that is we are uh, making a top level middle level and low level from the diagram number of modules are limited to that example see the example Step six for warm. Yeah, uh, second level factoring. So here mapping individual transform that is bubble to appropriate modules. Factoring occurs by moving outward from transform center boundary. So here uh, whatever we are doing here is we are transforming the DFT to actual design. So we are doing level by level. from the dft we have drawn the architecture this is a first iteration architecture and then we need to improve this we need to modify this we need to uh, draw the perfect diagram from this
Seven is refine the first iteration program structure using design heuristics for improving software quality. So in order to improve the quality, we are improving the architecture. This is your final architecture.